Hello guys, it's the Beast here and welcome to yet another mod spotlight and this time I'm doing the mod I'm doing mod spotlight of the TNT mod for Minecraft 1.3.1 and look here I did it so I did it a bit differently this time. I just as you guys can see that I pre-crafted the the new box or TNT or whatever. But I'm gonna show you guys a recipe right now for each and every single one of them, just for saving time, you know. And because it's pretty late to where I live, in where I live, but I just had to get a video out, so let's go. So this is the crafting recipe for Firebomb. And also, as always, I'm going to have the download link in the description below, so make sure to go and check it out. Um, okay, how am I going to pick this up? Let's see, um, I think I'm going to have to go um, Game Mode Survival. There you go. And if I hit this, there you go, I got it. Okay, that's the Firebomb, and that's in the music down. Music, go turn, turn yourself that music. There you go. So next one is the minor mod, and I'm gonna do this a demonstration of these these um, bombs later on. So yeah, minor. This is the crafting recipe, as you guys can see there. Make sure you just pause it. Okay, and I'm gonna get the get now TNT, and this is actually my second take of doing this video because yeah, <laughs> it took too long for the first one. Napalm, crafting recipe, just a lot of love buckets and TNT. Easy to remember, and let's just get that. So I thought the the nuke, I, the nuke actually isn't the strongest um, bomb in this mod. It's actually the scatter bomb, and I'll show you guys why in a sec. So this is how you get the the nuke, and I'm gonna take it now. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast, guys, but you know. Just for time, and that that's why it's the most expensive one to make scatter bomb because it requires a nuke and all those things. Scatter bomb. So now that I've got those, yeah, guys, if you didn't actually quite catch it, then you just you know rewind and and then pause it there. And uh, game mode creative. There you go. Now let's just go somewhere to set these off. Actually, let's get a lever. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but um, hey guys, uh, just make sure to uh, to check out the download links in the description below for both this mod and mod loader because as always, um, all the mods pretty much need mod loader. Now, so first off, we're gonna start with the firebomb. Let's get a lever right there, and they I don't know why they keep disappearing whenever they're supposed to be jumping around like you know a normal TNT, but there goes a firebomb, no more explosion radius as a normal TNT, like normal TNT, but it says everything on fire. Okay. Next is the firebomb, oh no, the napalm. Actually, no, let's do the minor mode. So this is quite different than the normal TNT because, let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but a normal TNT would only drop 30% of the destroyed blocks, but this will do something different. I will do something more, which it will drop every single block that it destroys. You guys can see there, so it's really good if you guys are hunting for like diamonds or stuff or something. Okay, next one is the napalm. Let's do it. Run. The middle of the trees. Also, guys, be sure to give a rating for this video, whether it be a like or a dislike. But if you're gonna dislike, then make sure to give me a reason why, so I can improve on it and. Yeah, so you guys won't have to dislike anymore in the future videos. So as you guys can see, um, I'm saying guys a lot, but whatever. I'm in a hurry. It sets everything in lava. Well, not everything, but most of the areas around it. Okay. Now we're going to go with the big... I was going to say big guns, but... I guess I should say big explosion thingies. Explosion, I don't know, bombs. Okay. Nuke. Let's go out there. And also, if you guys are new to this channel, then... Make sure to go and click the subscribe button up there, and if you want to see more Minecraft related videos, whether it be installation videos or mod spotlights, just this one, then make sure to go and check out my channel. I'll put up a link in the description, description, and wow, it just, wow, wow, that's a pretty big radius. It's pretty powerful, actually. It's kind of like the napalm, or the firebomb, but much bigger. And last but not the least, certainly not the least, is the scatter bomb right there. So what was I saying? Uh, 
Yeah, guys, uh, make sure to just check out my channel. I have a lot more Minecraft related videos up there, and more will be coming. So make sure to subscribe. Wow, I said that, I said that a lot better this time than the last. <laughs> Whoa, all all this fire is like making me lag. Ah, uh, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the starting area. Get away from here. That was actually a pretty big radius, as you guys can see. But this pretty much turns that into nothing. This uh, this next explosion thing, bomb, whatever. Okay, let's go. All right, all right. Okay, so at first it seems like nothing happened, but it's gonna render soon. So um, yeah, they keep disappearing and uh, the explosion time for the bombs are too slow. So um, but you can edit that in the properties file of the mod. You guys, you can guess, you guys can see how to um how to change the explosion waiting time I guess countdown or something in the proper file of the mod which will be explained in the insulation guide wow which is cleaning up the entire island okay it's still rendering or where is it it's still loading the chunks but while it's still not loaded let me have what else am I gonna say I guess I don't have anything else to say so yeah so thanks for watching this guys and make sure to leave a rating uh, check out my channel and subscribe and I'm gonna leave after it's loaded the chunks and actually shows the damage so it's pretty much has the same radius as a nuke except it doesn't set them on fire just it's pretty much all explosion things down and up and yeah yeah so thanks for watching this guys and